Well, hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone is doing fantastic. So this happened over a period of a week. I worked a little bit extra last week, so it's uh, it was a little bit of a struggle to really get much done. Now, fortunately, my kids have done real well to keep the house clean. Uh, my husband, he's really helping too, but he works full time. So, you know, um, it looks like I am gonna be working a lot more, which is great. So we've got a lot of exciting new changes where I'm at, um, but I uh, need to establish a better schedule. And I think what it's gonna have to be is like 30 minutes in the evening of cleaning. I just don't know what to determine what, you know, the priority should be. Um, you know, normally I could kind of, I had the luxury of just doing whatever on this day and whatever on that day. So maybe a set schedule like Monday, I'll spend 30 minutes cleaning the bathrooms or you know Tuesday this or whatnot I don't know what do y'all think what do you do what does a schedule look like to you I know some people do real well just keeping their house clean in general I'm not one of those people I need structure I need a schedule I need a checklist I need things set on paper set on paper set in stone so written on paper I don't because I'm just that's just how I am I don't know if it's my ADHD I don't know if it's my personality it doesn't matter what it is I just know I work better when it comes to cleaning when I have a set schedule I do that at work too um, I make a list of everything that I need to do during the day and then I just go through that list and I check it off I'm okay with change but you know I still need to have an outline a guideline you know whatnot so while I was sweeping in here, I was also cooking dinner. I think this was Tuesday, maybe? Y'all pardon Joe without a shirt. He's just running around being silly. I knew I needed to mop. My floors are awful. We have had a lot of rain, a lot of wind here, so there's a lot of muddy footprints in here. When I mop, I like to sweep and vacuum. Um, I don't think that either one is good enough on its own. So that's what's going on here. So obviously this isn't house related, but I just wanted to tell you guys, I am just feeling very blessed. I'm so thankful. I absolutely love my job. I have just witnessed a, just a ton of God's miracles and I'm, I'm very, very thankful. Um, it's been just a huge, huge change in my life, but one that I'm thankful. I went from being an incredibly shy person. I hate making phone calls, y'all. I hate having to talk to people, especially people I don't know, but I tell you what, at my job, that's like the majority of my day, is talking to people I never met, making appointments, making phone calls, doing all that, and I love it. Maybe it's because it's not about me. Like, when I'm there, it is not about me in the slightest. It's about helping, you know, other people. But I just wanted to say how very thankful, and just thank you guys for being so encouraging, and just, it's awesome. So this right here, I did this in the evening after work. So this was probably, this was probably Tuesday. No, I didn't work on Tuesday. Anyway, so I stopped and I gave, I think I set myself like a 10 or 15 minute timer. I'm really trying to work on cleaning up this area as I go. I have, since I filmed this, I have made sure each day to walk by and if I see anything, just quickly put it to the side or not put it to the side, but put it up. Um, this is a problem area for me. My bathroom is just a constant disaster and it's always worse with my stuff. So I, I don't know, at 39 years old, you would think I would, I would know how things work better for myself, but it just seems like the older I get, like the less I know about myself. Like I wish I could just simply figure out what I needed to do to make sure everything was cleaner in my house. And it feels like the simple answer should just be just clean it. Oh, y'all, that was the Olaplex. I have jumped on that train. I absolutely love it. I think it is worth every penny. Uh, my daughter's been using it too and she loves it as well but anyway like i was saying you think the simple answer to being a cleaner person is to clean just to simply clean for me y'all it's a struggle and pardon my ex exaggerated tone but that's like the best way to do to describe it like it's so frustrating that i can't just freaking clean up after myself 
Okay, so I decided to use a cream cleanser in here on my sink because the sink gets really grody really quickly. Um, it, it's okay. I'm definitely not going to be buying the cream cleanser again just because I simply don't like cream cleansers. They're impossible to clean up, it seems like. They always leave a little bit of residue. Um, but it is fun to clean with these every now and then, so that's what I was doing here. And, you know, our, our bathroom sink, I think I just called it the kitchen sink, gets grody really quickly. Joe brushes his teeth and stuff in here, and, and what doesn't land on the mirror lands in the sink base. Basin? Base. Basin. So you guys know I have a guest room that used to be my older son's room that he moved out. So I'm turning it into an office. Um, I do do some work from home. Haha, <laughs> I said do do. Um, but I think I'm going to start moving some of my clothes and stuff in there. Our closet, even though it's big, it's, I don't know. We're just going to see if this will work. I've got to try something. This is not a matter of too much stuff. This is a matter of being lazy and throwing my things on there instead of taking the few steps to walk to the closet and put it up. So, I don't know, we'll, we'll see if this works, maybe having my own space, which I'm not sure if it will or not, who knows. I've done really well to get rid of stuff, um, as I, I've bought a lot of things recently, like clothes and accessories and stuff for work, but as I do that, I make sure that stuff goes out of the house too, um, you know, I didn't have to buy extra clothes for work and all that stuff, but it is nice to get a little dressed up and just to feel good about myself when I'm in there. Um, there's a lot of serious stuff we deal with there and I don't know, it's just, it's a different world. But anyway, I like getting dressed up and all that, but I've made sure so I don't undo all that I have worked, you know, over the last year to accomplish. I don't want to undo any of that. So I've made sure that stuff, if stuff comes in, stuff goes out. So, you know, that's that's a big thing. We just took a whole bunch of bags of donations over the weekend. Um, now, I did, Jeremy and I went, I needed a desk for my back room. I actually don't have an office desk. And Jeremy might be doing some work from home in the future as well. So we just kind of figured it was a good time. Um, and where I do homeschool and stuff like that, it's just, it, it made sense. I didn't want to go spend a fortune on a desk. I don't know if you guys have recently looked at that stuff. Just the cheap plywood tables like desks and stuff are super expensive so uh, well when I say super expensive I think a hundred dollars for a desk that you know is not going to hold a lot of stuff and you could probably easily tap with a pen like that's just too much money so we went to Habitat for Humanity um, in Charleston and I found an awesome desk now it needs a lot of TLC but it's solid and I mean super solid um, I paid 20 bucks for it, y'all. And when you see it, like, again, I know that it needs some work, but it's solid, it's put together. And when I mean work, I, it just needs sanded down and stain and all that. It's going to be awesome. So I was really excited for that. And I figured too, you know, if it doesn't work out that it's too much space, I paid $20 for it. Um, you know, saved it from a landfill, whatnot. Even though, I mean, it wouldn't have been in a landfill because it was a habitat, but I just... I thought that was the way to go. Um, and it'll be a fun project later on down the road to, you know, sand it down and stain it. Uh, that gorgeous black cherry that I found that looks almost purple. Um, I love that stain. I'm even thinking about, I don't know if you guys have seen this, but there's a blue stain. And I'm excited to try that. I was going to try it on my dining room table, but I think I might try it on this desk too. Who knows? We'll see when the time comes. So obviously what I'm doing, y'all, I'm... Rinsing dishes off. Some of them I'm pre-rinsing to go in the dishwasher and some of them I'm washing to, you know, they just need washed by hand. This was actually Saturday morning before we went to Habitat. We went to Habitat on Saturday and then ran a bunch of errands. My kids have been working at this. Uh, we have a big church program we're putting on for Easter and they've been a part of it. So we had to get them for that, but it was a really nice weekend.
All right, y'all. So we have a Walmart food haul and we have been getting a little crazy with this. Um, I guess I'll tell you guys how much I spent because I always do. Um, we spent $355.26. And as my husband said, this was not at all expected. We went there to return underwear that we had bought for Joe that was way too small. So we were actually supposed to get money back, but we realized we needed groceries. So I don't know where it got expensive, um, but we got quite a bit of stuff. Hold on a minute, Joe. You wanna show them what that is? Yeah. Okay, so we'll start with this. These are the little popper toys. Do you know what they're for? They're for one of mom's work friends that okay. are really sick and he really likes to get his rings. That was very sweet. Okay, so I got these. Um, anyway, I got these for some for for some work associate, um, just little fidget stuff, you know, because I, I do the same thing. Jeremy got these for uh, he got these because he loved these. His cousin used to bring them back to him from where was it Germany? Germany. Um, but then it turns out they have them here, so he loves these. I got these for work to put in our candy bowl. So, um, if you guys don't know, I work at a addiction recovery place, and uh, when you're coming, when you're detoxing, you crave sugar, so it's, I'm not saying sugar's good for you, but it's something good to have, so we try to keep bowls of candy and stuff around, so that's why I bought that, I bought that for my desk. Um, I got mushrooms, um, apples and cream, these, okay honey, you're dropping stuff, apples and cream for my lunch, yeah, I showed them the candy base. For Easter next no, that's for mommy's desk at work. Yeah. Um, I got this for... Anyway, I got these for work. Oh, I got these earrings, y'all. Yeah. They're all really cool. Thank you. Um, <laughs> Joe and Jeremy got Cheez-Its. I yeah, would say this was... We both love Cheez-Its. Yeah, I would say this was a Jeremy, a Joe purchase, but I, I know Jeremy had a lot to do those with it. Oh, those were all Oh, those were all him. No, okay, so I got no, the no, milk. No. I've never seen these before. Um, they're gluten-free, so I thought I'd take some to work. Okay, so Jeremy wants me to hurry up and show y'all these so he can start cooking with it. He got, these were seven bucks a piece. We splurged a little bit on that. Like I said, if he's going to cook, then I told him I didn't care what he got. Okay, this is bird rub, chicka licka bam bam. Did you get that just because it sounded funny? Okay. Joe, stop with the background noise, buddy, please. Thank you. Um... Sweet pepper, honey kissed bird rub. Kinder's wings. This just looked good, bourbon peach. We're not sure where we're gonna put this. Jeremy got this for fishing. Uh, if any of you out there were fish, I guess he says it's really good for the fish. What do you, catfish? Yes. Hold on, Jojo, hold on. We talked about this, babe. Um, he got this for fishing too. Um, some Fuji apples. Joe wants to show y'all his ball. Yeah, if you guys didn't see our Dollar Tree one, I can show you the rainbow ball. Oh, know. okay. Um, I got these. They're kind of expensive. They're like four bucks a piece, but the other ones were really good. Um, some honey mangoes. Michael and I both love mangoes, so I figured he'll eat some. Fuji apples. Bananas. Joe's Lunchables. You, you know I love Lunchables. Yep. Shredded cheese, American cheese, pepper jack cheese, smoked turkey. This, Jeremy's making Rubens, so I got this, and this stuff's amazing. It's a little pricey, but for that, you know, for Reuben, I thought it was good. It'd be good. Um, these, I thought this was funny, and I love fresh dill pickles. My uncle used to make his own pickles, and that's kind of what that reminded me of. Big thing a family says are green beans. So I love these. I know I've showed you guys these before. I normally get them at Kroger when they do the sale, but they very rarely do the sale. These by themselves are normally $3 a piece. So this ended up being, I think this was a little under eight and there's four in here. So I got those. Um, avocados for my lunch. Jeremy got his fresh jalapenos or jalapenos. I know they're called jalapenos. I mean, silly chocolate almond milk. So we love that. Jeremy prefers the yellow onions. I'm not going to show you Jeremy's underwear, but he got underwear. We got Joe picked him out these socks. Pumpernickel and rye bread for the Rubens. I'm going to be eating gluten-free. Y'all, I love these. Absolutely love them. I've been taking them to my work. They're all really good. Walmart has the best price. Hey, any of y'all that drink these, is there somewhere I can get them in like a four-pack or a six-pack? 
let me know. Yeah. Um, showed you guys my earrings already. So Walmart said when I got up to the register, it didn't ring on sale up on sale. And you know, the lady came over and she's like, I've never seen the sticker before, but I'm gonna give it to you anyway. So we we're trying to figure out where in the world it came from. Um, chicken nuggets, broccoli florets, because it's about the only vegetable that we all really, really love. I mean, we do love green beans. And we're getting to where we all like Brussels sprouts with the exception of my daughter. She's pretty picky when it comes to that stuff. She'll try it and she won't be hateful or anything about it, but it's very obvious when she doesn't like something. This is for the Rubens. This was the oil we decided on y'all. Um, because I told you guys we were trying to switch to a healthy oil. Not that there really is any. Um, we have cooked with coconut oil before, but it just, it didn't really work out for us. Um, they had these on sale at Walmart. Jeremy loves banana chips, 92. So I'm going to take a couple bags to work, and so is he. I'm um, also, I love wasabi peas. He does not. I do too. Oh, you do? Who doesn't like them then? One of our kids doesn't like them. That I, oh, Haley. And I always thought Haley would, but she doesn't. So we got those. Um, strawberry banana light and fit. I like these. They had tequila lime chicken wings on sale for $7.50. Um, Waffle cut fries, we love those. Joe wants to show you his ears. I got these from Great Wolf Lodge. Um, battered seasoned potato. I can't eat those French fries. I'll have to remember that. That's okay. I don't really eat fries that often anyway. Um, a green tank top just to go with my clothes because I'm trying to add a little bit more color to my wardrobe. I got this dress for work for $13. I thought it was really cute. I like pinks like this that are like pale rose. I got this for work, too, because it reminds me of Super Mario's brothers, Super Mario Brothers. We got this for my daughter. Jeremy picked this out. She loves cats. Yep, he hates cats. Loves cats. She loves cats. She doesn't hate cats. Got this for Joe, because she loves Minecraft. Y'all haven't heard. And We got his underwear, Sonic the Hedgehog. Yeah. So, the ones I bought him last week didn't fit. They were size 8. But I'm telling you, when he put them on, I know he's a big boy, but he is not that big that he would have outgrown those. Because these fit him, and they're just a little big, so I don't know. All right, but anyway, that's our haul, $355 at Walmart. So this is the back room I was telling y'all about. I'm just kind of moving some stuff around so we can move the desk in there. We want to keep the bed and such in here. You know, we don't have company a lot of times or overnight company, but we want to, you know, we like to have an extra bed just in case. And, you know, when my, my older boys come and they visit and stuff, it's just nice. So all I'm doing is just moving stuff out of the way so I can turn the bed in a different way. The desk is very large. Um, my husband and son actually had a difficult time getting it in there. Jeremy had to maneuver things and cut, cut pieces of the desk to kind of get it in there, but it ended up fitting and it's great. Anyway, I'm excited about it. There was a lot of dust in here. Um, one of the dog, Trixie, her cage was in here. We don't put her up too often. Um, we do if they can't be outside or, you know, something like that and we're gone. But those two things to happen are extremely rare. So anyway, that's what I'm just doing in here, tidying it all up. So I'm not sure what all I'm going to do. My daughter was like, are you going to paint and do all this? And I'm like, I might eventually. I do really like this color, though. It's very simple. Um, I normally like a darker color, and especially in an office. I've got like this old type of like dark, rich mahogany colors in mind. Um, but I think for right now, I'm just going to kind of see as I go. And as I, you know, work from home a little bit more often, we'll just... We'll see how it goes. This corner though, I have to say, I had not moved, I haven't swept it since my son um, moved out and it was pretty bad. Um, there was a lot of dog fur and stuff, but you know, dog shed and stuff. It wasn't anything gross, just, you know, where it hadn't been swept in so long. Eventually I would like to get some kind of bed frame in here, but right now we're just gonna leave this like it is. Cause like I said, nobody ever really sleeps on it anymore. Um, so it's, it's good on the floor. This room needs a lot of work done to it. Um, it's all minor little things. There's just a whole bunch of them that we have just decided we were going to put off until the kids weren't here. Um, there needs to be trim. There's a lot of patches in the wall that need filled. Um, we also, if you're not familiar with the trailer or a double wide, whatever you want to call it, um, I always call them trailers. I think people even call them modular homes now, but to me it's just trailer. 
oh i'm sweeping up here this is all the sawdust where jeremy had to cut that table in half anyway there's a ton of little little things that need to be worked on and i figured the more time i spend in here i'll just kind of start to chip away at them but uh, anyway i'm just sweeping all this up here So again, I'm having problems with my narration matching up with my video, but if we're what I'm seeing, we're all in place right now, I'm putting the drawers in. Like I said, this is an incredibly solid desk. Unlike y'all, it just, it's got some scratches and that's it. Um, it is missing the two little boards that you pull out on the top. Um, like look at the very top drawers and you'll notice there's a small space right there and that's all it's missing but that's something that you know that's an easy fix for as thick as this desk is um i think new solid desks and stuff run around a thousand dollars so and if this one doesn't work out it was 20 bucks so not a big deal um i just i'm gonna find a rolly chair but for now i was gonna stick with this just to see how well this worked uh, i went ahead and moved my printer in here it's got a fax machine and stuff too which is not aware that we still did faxes but i guess in the medical field y'all y'all still do but look at that it was originally 25 dollars and i got it for 20 percent off so after tax and everything it, it was 20. um like i said it's just all scratched up and it's got some watermarks on it all right now here we are with the laundry um just you know y'all know how i am i do laundry all the time and that's what we did here but guess what i did i did two or three loads of laundry this day got them all washed and dried and folded them and put them up the very next day they didn't sit on the floor for a whole week and a half like they normally do um if i keep this up that'll be fantastic if i don't that's okay we'll just take the small victories where we can get them but you know anyway i did manage to do all that i'm trying to think of what else to add now normally i can just chit chat all the way along what are y'all's plants for easter um, we're not planning on doing anything too big. Uh, we've got a big church production that my kids are a part of. And then I'm going to have like my nephew come up and the kids are going to hunt eggs in the yard. And we're going to cook a dinner, but my kids don't like ham. It always goes to waste. It doesn't seem to be a crowd pleaser. So we were thinking about just doing like hot dogs and hamburgers. I know that's not really an Easter dinner, but I mean, that's not really the point of Easter anyway is the food and stuff. But It'd be nice. Um, we're going to do something. We're just not sure what. So like I said, this is the next day I fold and put all my clothes away. Y'all, I'm getting a kick out of my outfit because none of this was intentional. I just threw on my sweatpants. Um, I wore the shirt to church and I had black pants, but uh, they were dress pants. So I wanted to change into something comfortable. And I have my cheetah print slippers on. They're just all different colors. So yeah. But um, if you are new here, I don't fold most of my clothes. My husband and I hang the large majority of ours up because we are terrible adults and we don't know how to fold and put things away. I do wash Joe's clothes, which is my six-year-old. Now, my other kids, they do their own laundry. They're old enough to take care of it. That's why I use the little Tide Pods, so that way they don't have to measure the stuff out. And, you know, I think it's important that kids know how to do their own laundry. And most importantly, I don't want to have to do it all, so that's that. I need to be doing a huge closet haul, overhaul, whatever you want to call it. I know I've said that in like the last 10 videos and it's yet, it's yet to get started, but we'll get to it at some point. Joe had testing this week, so that took up the large majority of any spare time I had, um, but it's finished with um, and we'll have those papers sent off next week and I should be trying to get back to a little bit more of a normal schedule, but anyway. 
So anyway, well, I hope wherever y'all are at, you are having a blessed one. Thank you guys so much for taking the time out of your day to watch my video. It means the world to me. You guys are awesome. I love you all. Um, I will be here same time next week. All right. Y'all have a good one. Bye.